AES ROG H670PG Riptide Review While not the best equipped or most inexpensive motherboard available in AES ROG's lineup, the H670PG Riptide presents great features and value for Intel Alder Lake upgraders. Not everyone wants or needs the newest and most modern functions on a motherboard and they'd almost certainly disapprove of paying for something they won't even use. Eliminating these added extras without sacrificing performance nevertheless enables the creation of an exceptional board that can complete basic tasks suitably while not costing an exorbitant fee. Phantom Gaming, which AS Rock claims to be fast, furtive, and undefeatable, might not seem very mysterious in this instance. But this cost-effective board is excellent for those looking to upgrade Intel's 12th generation Alder Lake CPUs on a budget. A detailed breakdown of Intel's 600 series chipsets and their differences can be found here. The main drawback of H670 compared to Z690 is its lack of processor and BCLK overclocking support, which only applies to the Z boards. Additionally, H670 has fewer connectivity lanes than Z690. Although the H670 has fewer USB 3.2 ports than the Z690 just 2 20 gigabits per second ports, 4 10 gigabits per second ports, and 8 5 gigabits per second ports it still offers more features. It has similar networking and storage capabilities as the Z690 plus 12 Max C 4.0 lanes to accommodate and drives. Without overclocking, you may not be able to recognize the distinction between the two during general use. Unlike the Z690 boards reviewed before, the H670PG Riptide is quite plain without flashy RGB lighting or plastic heat shrouds. The black PCB and exposed rear I.O. make this a sleek product. Although it's in the Phantom Gaming product line, there are no PG logos or branding anywhere on the board itself. The only clue to a purposeful design is seen in the brushed black heat sinks and subtly embellished ripple pattern on the silk screen. Aside from this, the all-black aesthetic of the board is only broken up by its visible components such as circuitry. Although unfortunately CMOS battery silver and capacitor aluminum are not in this season's collection of colors. PC connoisseurs might see this as dull, but for those who don't prioritize aesthetics and are trying to save money, it would mean lower production costs and a more affordable price. Since Intel's H670 chipset has limited overclocking support, the Riptide design reflects its usage of a single 8-pin and one 4-pin EPS connector for power delivery to the CPU instead of two 8-pins as found in most Z690 overclocking-centric boards reducing power draw. This fairly modest 9-phase design topped with two smaller aluminum heatsinks is adequate to regulate the power for this board's purpose. It wouldn't handle the thermal design power of a Core i9-12900KS very well at its full 150-watt output but most people won't have that expensive of a CPU anyway. With the system memory, AS Rock went with the older DDR4 standard. From a performance perspective, this isn't really an issue. DDR5 has more maximum bandwidth than DDR4 but also has a much bigger latency and access time. When dealing with memory-intensive tasks involving major data transfer such as file compression and high-resolution video editing, DDR5 modules enable more efficient performance. On the other hand, ordinary computing requiring lots of small data transfers is better handled by DDR4's lower latency which allows it to perform on par with or even surpass DDR5. Initially, the AS Rock H670PG Riptide shows up rather unremarkable and unimpressive. However, the more you investigate it, the more meticulous preparation and planning become noticeable. A better approach to consider it is not as a cost-effective performance board but as a dependable mid-range option that provides features missing in other economical boards. Opting to keep DDR4 could be a bad choice. Without DDR5, the Riptide won't have the necessary future-proofing that performance-focused consumers might expect. Nonetheless, these users are the least likely to pick a board that isn't able to overclock CPUs. This motherboard has ALC897 audio that may be antiquated, however, it's satisfactory for the ordinary headphone user. It doesn't have an exposed 20 gigabits per second USB port and devices that can take benefit of that data transfer rate are still uncommon. These are minor issues but the restrictions they create are improbable to ever be faced by this board's intended users. The lack of Wi-Fi may perhaps be its most important drawback. 
AS Rock struck a great balance in its design by keeping crucial features for good performance but not overloading it with additions that don't add any value. For those with limited budgets who don't need maximum performance, this LGA 1700 choice is an attractive option.